So InstaSuite is a six-in-one marketing platform that comes with a funnel builder, a membership builder, a blog builder, a list builder, which is basically an autoresponder, an affiliate center, as well as a support desk. The whole point of having all these things in one place is so that you can use them with ease. Let me start with the funnel builder. So this is the dashboard. When you first land in, you can control your different sites from this link. Depending on the level you buy, you have different number of sites. You can also edit site settings, which means you can set up redirects. So you can do domain mapping here. You can activate or deactivate the sites if you so choose. You can choose the front page as well as custom 404 page. And this is everything that you typically would get, for example, from a WordPress website. But let's go into Funnel Builder and let me show you how easy it is to build a new funnel and also edit the old funnels that you have in place. So let's go in and add a new funnel. We can either go for an opt-in funnel here or a sales funnel, product launch or a webinar funnel. It's entirely up to you. And really, this is only for direction so that you can look at it later. Let's go in and choose an opt-in funnel. In this case, I'm going to have one upsell and zero downsells, which means that when I pitch something, when I sell something, I will be able to ask people to buy something else as well. And add an opt-in form confirmation page. Well, it's not really necessary. It's like a bridge page. So let's call this demo opt-in. Then let's build a funnel and let's start adding new elements into it. Now, as you will see on this page, when we start building out a funnel, we have the squeeze page and the upsell one page and thank you page. If you want to add more, you can simply click here, add a new page, pick the kind of page that you want and create it. Then we also have the option to have a sales flow. So this sales flow is great because you can actually visualize what kind of funnel you're building. So if I add this funnel and thank you page in here as well, I could say, okay, let's put this down here and let's put this down here. So I could connect these two. There we go. And if someone say buys it, they can go from yes to here. Or if someone doesn't buy it, maybe they can still go from no to the thank you page. So this kind of visualization, especially if you have a lot of different elements within your funnel, make it easy for you to see exactly what your funnel will look like. And when you are working on the squeeze page, the very first thing you need to do is pick a template. Now we have over 100 different templates available within this for different kind of landing pages. For squeeze pages, we have these different templates available. You can also start from scratch. For let's say sales pages, let me show you this. We have again many different kind of templates as you can see here. Uh, you can use whichever one you want or you can go for the plain one and you can start from the scratch. Then we have some for webinar launch and others as well. And the cool part is when you create pages with InstaSuite, you can save them in your site and you can reuse them at a later date. So let's start with the squeeze page and I'm going to pick one that we can start customizing. Now, in this case, we have chosen a simple landing page and I want to go in and I want to show you exactly how you can edit this landing page and you can customize it as much as you want. So landing page right now is quite simple. It's a simple background, then an opt-in page on top. I can simply go ahead and change the background here. So I can choose a background image or I can also choose a background video in this case as well. I can also change the content here. So instead of this, I can say, there we go. So I can say this once I'm happy with this headline, I can also make some changes to this. So for example, if I want to format it, I can reduce the right margin completely and the bottom, bottom margin as well. So this way, the sentence looks clear. I can expand this to this. I can bring down to this level. There we go. Okay, this is the opt-in form. I can add more fields here if I choose to. So if I go in here, these are the different form options that are available. I can also, for example, if I wanted to, drag and drop the phone number here. If you wanted to do something with SMS, if you wanted to collect phone numbers, you can do that too. And when all these leads are collected, they are, when someone clicks on this button, then 
they can submit the form and this is the form and all the leads are collected for you. Now the leads can either be collected within an email list of your choice, so it could be with an Insta Suite, could be one of these different autoresponders, or could go to a webinar or both, or you can even do custom integration, which means that leads are collected within HTML format. It's very easy to edit all these things on this page. I can show you some other aspects as well. So you have the blocks aspect where you can introduce a new block altogether on this page. So this is one of the pre-made blocks. For example, if I put this here, you can see that this is a block that I can then change as I showed you before, the color for color, the background and anything else that I choose to change as well. But I don't want this and it looks a bit ugly. So I'll remove this. Then you can add new columns as well, two, three, four, five, six columns. You can add text, you can add boxes. And this is one of the boxes that we are working inside right now. You can add images to videos, buttons, forms, counters as well, countdown timers if you so choose, social buttons and Facebook and Discuss comments. This is typically for the blog and also some miscellaneous elements as well. What I love though, is that if you are building landing pages, sales pages, you can activate conversion tools such as pop-ups. You can build your own pop-ups using this. Let me show you. You can drag and drop, for example, your own text into the pop-up and you can drag and drop your own video into the pop-up if you wanted to. So it's easy for you to build pop-ups here as well. It is also easy let me just close this. It is also easy then for you to activate action messages or page overlays as well. If you want to put, if you want to change the page details, you can change them here. And if you want to then change, add in retargeting pixels, you can do so here as well within the scripts and tracking code option. So it is easy to customize this page as much as you want. Once you're happy with it, you can save it as HTML, you can save it as template and reuse later and if you want to while in the middle of it you can change template and pick a different one though if you do that all your data on this page will be lost so once you're happy with it publish it you'll get a url you can change the url here and once you're happy with it just publish it and you are good to go now let's jump in and look at other aspects of this software Next thing I want to show you is the membership builder. So within the membership builder, we can create membership sites with ease. You don't need any other membership platform to work within SuSuite because it already has an inbuilt platform. So when you first create it, go ahead and add your title, your slug. You can choose the base currency that you want to work with, and you can also choose registration settings that you want to work with. Once you're happy with this, you can set up different emails that are sent out based on what the user is doing. If there's a welcome email, a confirmation email, forgot password, purchase receipt, and cancel subscription email. You can customize these emails as much as you want. And you can personalize them as well because all these things, the support URL and the site URL, all these things are already part of InstaSuite. Then you can collect more information on the form when people sign up. So you can collect the email, the password, name, website, city, country, street address, zip code, phone number, whatever it is you want to do. When you're done with this, then you can choose a theme. At the moment, we have five themes available with an Insta Suite. I'm working with the dynamic one. You can choose whichever one you want and you can customize them as much as you want as well. So let's go in and set up one of these themes. So we're gonna jump into Product Creation Bootcamp and edit this one. So this is the basic information for this membership site. We can choose different details here. We can put a product image if we want to. We can allow people to upgrade. We can charge people extra. We can put in a support link. All these different things can be updated here. Then you can choose one of the two or multiple different payment options. And all the payment options you can integrate with here under integrations. And then you can set up prices and levels. You can give away something for free. You can choose to charge something for a monthly subscription or you can simply give away a lifetime option as well. When you set everything up, you will be able to see either the registration URLs if it's free or if it's paid option, then you will also be able to see the buy button right over here. It also integrates with JVZoo, Zaxa, Warrior Plus and so on. So if you wanted to use those platforms, you can do that as well. Then the action part is where you add people to either an autoresponder or go to a webinar or anywhere else based on the action that they're taking, that is them signing up. And finally, we get to the content part, which I think is the coolest thing. 
there is. So within the content part, you can actually add new content. Let me show you how to do this one. So if I add new content, I can choose what levels I want this to be available for. Then I can go in and edit it. And editing this is really easy because it's all drag and drop. So I can drag and drop this video here. For example, I can drag and drop this here. I can drag and drop this image over here. And I can basically build in an entire page just by using this builder within InstaSuite. And this is how easy it is to basically build your membership site. And if I click here, you can change your background. So for example, back, uh, base text color is this, background color is this. I can change the background color to say this on all the pages. That's completely fine. So you can see I can, I'm choosing all the pages or individual pages. I can choose a background image if I wanted to. So it could be an image of me, for example, I could do that as well. I could change the header as well. I could change the footer and I could also change the buttons as well. And once I'm happy with all of this, I'm just going to click save and all the changes will be immediately saved. And if you want to preview that, you can click here and see what this content will actually look like. There's place here for people to take notes. There's also place here for them to browse through various different lessons in this case as well. So again, this, is, this becomes easy to basically build your own pages here. As you can see, I can't see the header. I'm just gonna change it to say red, perfect. There we go. So if I go back, one thing I want to show you is how you can basically customize your themes as well. So when you're choosing a theme, you can click here and customize. When you do that, you can change things right over here. So you can add new elements to it. So if this is your, your landing page, this is your homepage, you can add the text element to it, for example. So this text shows up every time on the homepage. You can have a welcome video here as well. So this shows up every time you're on the homepage as well. We're working on centralizing this at the moment. And then you can also change the background image, the header, footer, and button as we did before. But I'm going to exit it because I don't want to save any changes. And when you have everything set up, you can manage members. You can add the members manually or you can let them join by a sign up link, for example. You can also set up member tags, which you can use later on in your emails. And you can also give away coupons and discount codes so that people could sign up to your products for a much cheaper price. Now, let's go into the other aspect, which is the blog builder. With the blog builder, you can essentially mirror what you see on a WordPress site, which is having your own blog, building your own content over time as well. And trust me when I say this, long term, it is the best thing to do as well. So you can, number one, come in and you can optimize your homepage with SEO right over here. And then you can choose a widget and you can add various different options to this widget. Then you can also choose themes. So we have three themes available at the moment. So you can choose a simple blog theme and uh, or you can go for the bootstrap theme as well. Then when you're done with that, you can just like in a WordPress site, add menu items too. So you can create a new menu and you can add the menu items so they're easily visible to anyone reading the blog. When you go into all posts, you'll be able to see all the posts that are currently published. Let me show you one of these actually. If I show you this, as you can see, this is what the blog post looks like right now. And this is the opt-in form over here, just as an example to show you how it works. There's a search button, categories, tags, and another opt-in form, and Facebook comments as well. You can customize your blogs however you want. So adding one is quite easy. It's a Visibig editor. As you can see, you can uh, choose a URL here. You can enter some except here that will show for SEO as well. So it's SEO optimized. You can show the social share buttons. You can put your content over here. You can choose one of the multiple categories that you have previously created right over here. And you can choose one of the multiple tags right over here as well. And this is the image thumbnail you can use. And again, some more SEO optimization. And uh, you can click here to view your blog, see what it looks like. So again, this is just to give you a very quick idea of how easy it is to use the blog builder part of InstaSuite. And trust me when I say this, this is something you need long-term to build content for your website. The next part, which is very, very cool, is the list builder or the email autoresponder part. Now in this case, the very first thing you need to do is when you come in, you can hook it up 
with your SMTP. So SMTP, there are various different options available. I will also cover training on how to basically build your own SMTP for $5 a month. It does take a little bit of cleaning up to do, but if you can do that, if you can follow instructions, then you'll be able to get your own SMTP for very cheap. Then you can also blacklist email addresses here. You can blacklist domains and IP. So that way they don't report you for accidental spamming and you don't basically get the reputation for your SMTP decreased, then you can create lists in here. So you can add a, a new list, and when you add a new list, you can then add sequence. So you can add an autoresponder series to that as well. You can also add or import your own subscribers from outside. So if you have a CSV file of subscribers, you can click here and you can import them. So that way you can manage all your subscribers from one place within InstaSuite. You don't need any other autoresponder after this. You can create forms as well. So for all the lists that you've been building, you can create forms as well. If you want to integrate them outside of InstaSuite, that's fine as well. Then this is where you build messages. So you can build broadcasts over here. And they give you details on basically what kind of spam score the broadcast has and other details as well in reporting, which include open rates, click-through rates, and so on. And then you can also build in sequences. So if I go in and if I edit the sequence over here, if I click submit, you'll see that I'll be able to actually add email number one, email number two, three, four, five, and trigger them based on days after subscription. So all of this is easy to basically build up and build your own autoresponder series, build your own broadcast using List Builder as well. And then here is where you see all the details of all of your emails, basically statistics on how many subscribers you have and what kind of results you're getting as well. This is where you can create and save email templates if you find yourself sending an email over and over again. So this is where you can see those details. And again, this is very easy to manage. As you can see, if you go in here, you will be able to see a lot of different statistics based on the pages and the emails as well. Now, let's look at the affiliate center, and this is where you start recruiting affiliates. So if you use some other option like leaddino.com, it will easily cost you $249 a month to recruit affiliates for your programs. But in this case, setting up an affiliate program within InstaSuite is actually quite easy to do. You can set up with the general settings. You can do affiliate cookies for a long, long time, 365 days. You can even go for as long as you want and essentially do lifetime cookies you can also allow visitors to sign up as affiliates only so you can choose that affiliates first have to buy or they don't have to buy that's up to you you can collect different information within the paypal form and you can again have different kind of email notifications in place as well then again we have a theme in place that you can choose you can customize it with different colors and such when affiliates sign up you can give them banners so you can add banners here you can add email swipes here and the cool part is that when affiliates get the email swipe, their affiliate link will automatically be embedded in there, right? So you can personalize it by embedding their affiliate link in there, which would mean that they are able to use the emails starting immediately. That's how easy it is for the affiliates. Then you can set up commission plans for your affiliates based on the product. So I could choose, for example, in this case, product creation bootcamp, and uh, I could set up a one tier and pay 40% and I could add a second tier and pay 10%. So second tier means if they recommend an affiliate who signs up from their link, I can also give recurring commissions. I can also set up payout delays. So that way I have to manually pay affiliates out after 30 days. And this is especially relevant if you haven't worked with someone before. Then you can enable specific affiliates and you can give them a higher percentage of the amount. Right. Then you can get a complete overview of the plans over here. You can manage affiliates here and have this place to pay out all the affiliates. This is available only for PayPal, so it doesn't work for Stripe or anything else. You can also view the affiliate area by clicking that button, logging in and seeing exactly what the affiliate will see as well. And finally, we have the support desk. Support desk is essential if you are selling a product and you need to provide support after sales support to your customers. So you can set up your support email here. You can set up from name. So let me just go ahead and do that right over here. 
There we go. When you set up your support email address, then this is your support URL. So people will actually go to this URL to log in a ticket. You can add a knowledge base as well. So if you have questions that come up quite often, you can add a knowledge base so people can see all the questions in place here. In fact, interestingly enough, the support disk that we're using for InstaSuite has actually been created with this. Then you also have the all tickets aspect where you can see all the tickets that are currently pending. So you can see we got a ticket from someone already and uh, you can also just simply change the theme. You can customize the theme later on as well. We'll give you the option further down the line as well. And as I mentioned, all the reports and statistics that you want to see are available right over here and they give you some very important information insights to basically show you what kind of traffic you're getting how that traffic is converting and uh, what you can do to do more with that traffic and all the tutorials you can find over here and the change log is over here change log is where you basically see everything new that we've been adding to the platform as you can see we've been adding something every single month for the last six or seven months. So again, there's so much with an InstaSuite and uh, I hope you found this useful.